Independent MP Jeff Brock says he's determined to form a stable minority government despite receiving up to a dozen death threats. Police are investigating the source of the abusive contact which started when Mr Brock threw his support behind Labor. Once a little known independent, now the centre of some unwanted attention. I have had in the last uh, few days death threats, uh, abusive phone calls. Uh, and emails. The entirely anonymous contact is being investigated by police. Which affects myself, affects my staff and affects my family. The Liberal leader quick to denounce the behaviour. That's outrageous if that's the case. I mean, we, you know, we live in a democracy. A democracy that's made him member for Dunstan, but after the decision of one man, not the Premier. I don't think it was the right decision, of course, but, uh, you know, he's made that decision and now, uh, you know, we'll, we'll live with it. Jeff Brock, unlikely to withdraw support for Labor before the next election. I have the opportunity, but that would be very serious. I don't want to bring any government down. The federal Liberal government has reacted aggressively. Infrastructure Minister Jamie Briggs raising doubts about whether it will fund an upgrade for the near star lead smelter in Brock's electorate. I'm not in a position to go and tell uh, my federal colleagues what they should or shouldn't be doing. I don't even know Jamie Briggs, so I don't know where he's coming from. He doesn't like me already. I want to be able to have a good working relationship with both the opposition and the federal government. Jeff Brock insists he'll remain an independent member of parliament. He'll choose his own ministerial staff and won't attend Labor caucus meetings. That includes the one being held tomorrow morning where Labor will discuss who should join Mr Brock in cabinet. The manufacturing minister is out of the race, retiring from the front bench. It's the right thing for my family and it's the right thing for me. Tom Kenyon denies he was pushed but admits no one begged him to stay. <laughs> Not too many people beg you to stay in politics. <laughs> Live now to Ben Avery. Ben, when will the Liberals choose their front bench? Well, Brenton, that is likely to be discussed at a party meeting on Thursday morning, but Stephen Marshall says he wants to see Jay Wetherill's cabinet before he makes any such announcement. Now, the opposition leader was quite tight-lipped about any potential changes to his front bench, but he was keen to make one point, and that is that he's very confident there will be no challenge to his leadership. Thank you, Ben.